hey guys welcome back to another video in this video I'm going to show you how to texture this gun with ambient occlusion so the gun can look more realistic um, now we can do this by just clicking on this ambient occlusion option and we can get that effect right here as you can see this is the effect that we want but we want this texture as an image so we can get that to you know outside of blender as well as inside of blender so to do this um, we have to bake the texture and then you know export that save that sorry save that image into uh, a photo editing application like GIMP or Photoshop and then edit it from there and then bring it back to Blender or somewhere else so to do this first we have to UV unwrap this simple model here it's not a simple model it's a complex model so we can unwrap this it's called uh, and we can create a smart UV project we can create a UV and then this is our UV layout right here and then we have to like create a new material and I'm going to use this uh, material called scar hatch body it's just a plain material sorry not this so I'll get that again uh, where is it okay it's so just a simple material as you can see uh, it's just a yellow color you know I don't know what that color is it's like a cream color uh, material right here and then what we can do with this is we have to go to this wall tab and make sure the ambient occlusion is checked and then go to this camera here and go all the way to the bottom then click on bake make sure the bake type is ambient occlusion and click on bake and then we can see the effect is right there in the gun and then we have this image right here which is a baked image and then what we have to do is um, and then we have to click on image and save that image uh, I'm going to save this in the desktop and I'm going to call this scar hatch AO and then I'm going to open that image which is right here in GIMP or Photoshop so I have game it's a free software so I'm going to use that and create a new one no, I'm going to close this one okay and then open that image uh, which is right here scar a, a o and then get that and then again click on file and click on open as layers and then go and get that texture which you just uh, the texture of the gun sorry go to documents go to 3d models go to scar H, get that body texture and then you have these two what I want you to do is put this uh, the AO baked one on top of that by clicking on this and then click on the AO baked texture and click on multiply make the mode to multiply as you can see now we have that same thing the uh, same AO bake texture with um, with the texture applied so what we have to do now is just click on file and export this uh, I'm going to export this into my desk desktop and I'm going to call this scar hedge texture so this is our texture so what we have to do now is to bring it back inside blender we have to just open up blender and then you know remove the material that we had and then create a new one and then I'm going to just call this new texture and then again assign that same texture we just exported from GIMP and there we have it we have the texture with that ambient occlusion effect and that's how you get the uh, textures AO baked so now you can like get this text to unity or outside of blender to game engines like unreal engine and unity 3d and so that's how you do it so if you guys uh, found this helpful uh, feel free to like give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to see more videos thank you guys